incoming alarms in IGSS uh, is a very central topic and uh, I'll explain in detail how you do this in IGSS. We start out in the definition module in our template by defining the alarm bits. First, I go into the 2PC section and I define two plus signs, as you can see here, on, on bits 0 and 1. Those are the two alarms, two digital alarms, that are located in the PLC and I want them to be, uh, I want them to come into the IGSS alarm list. Also, I select this single bit alarms checkbox to make it possible for these two alarms to occur simultaneously in the IGSS alarm list. Next step is to define the PLC address for those two alarm bits that uh, we have just specified. So again, we go to the edit mapping tab where we specify the PLC addresses. We select the alarm in atom. The in out mode is of course in. And uh, we specify the PLC address. We have our driver, we have our node number, and we specify the PLC address over here. Now, when we are selecting the alarm in atom, we can see that the alarm details section here will open up. It will be active. Now you can select a, an alarm number that is associated with the alarm in atom in this box and you can see that it's a drop down here so you actually have two different alarms that you can select here. We have specified data group 11 word number 101. To illustrate this we look into the PLC and we're looking into data group number 11 and on word number 101 bits 0 and 1 they are the alarm bits we have set. So if one of these bits down here are raised, then it means that the alarm will occur in IGSS. So the PLC will send that bit to IGSS and we will see the alarm in the alarm list. So here it is, alarm number 101, motor overheated. Alarm acknowledgement. When the alarm comes into the alarm list, then the operator must acknowledge the alarm. And um, when he does that, then a bit is sent to the PLC. And again, we specify the address on the edit mapping tab. When the bit is received by the PLC, the PLC program must register this bit and return a confirmation bit to IGSS. And this bit is specified also on the alarm in act bit tab. Finally, when IGSS receives the PLC's acknowledgement or confirmation bit, then the alarm is acknowledged in the IGSS system. It will typically change color in the alarm list and will be moved to the alarm log. When we have Now we have created our motor template and we're ready to uh, create our motors uh, in, the, uh, in the definition module. And we will, of course, base these motors on the template we just created. So let's go online. We are in the definition module and we want to create a motor on this uh, diagram. We right click at the precise precision sorry, at the exact uh, position where we want to locate the motor, we right click, we select new, and we go into the drop down menu here and we select motors valves. Then we come into the object browser dialog box, and uh, first of all, we need to select which area uh, we want to, uh, to use for this uh, object, and I go into the plants area. Then I have the option of choosing digital objects because uh, this was a digital symbol library that I pointed at. I move down, these are all templates. These are all templates in my IGSS configuration. I move down to the one called Moto1. That's the one I just created. 
and I can now type in my object name in the name box M1 and then I click the create button and I come into this dialog box and you can see that M1 is based on motor 1 and now I just need to go to the edit mapping tab to specify the exact PLC addresses that I want to use. When I've done this, I click, I need to do this for all the atoms of course, then I click OK and I have my final object. I will just move it into position here, that is, this is my motor. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit www.70dk.igss.